हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट रिफॉर्मेस की रिएक्शन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज रिफॉर्मेस की रिएक्शन इन रिफॉर्मेस की रिएक्शन वी विल यूज एल्डिहाइड और कीटोन्स लाइक वी आर यूजिंग द बेंजल डिहाइड विथ एल्फा हेलो एस्टर एल्फा हेलो एस्टर लाइक वी आर सी एच टू सी डबल बोन ओ ओ सी टू एच फाइव सो दैट इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एल्फा हेलो एस्टर एल्फा हेलो एस्टर मीन हेलोजन एटम इज अटैच एट एल्फा कार्बन दैट इज दैट इज एल्फा कार्बन एल्फा कार्बन ऑफ एस्टर देन दैट इज कॉल्ड एल्फा हेलो एस्टर सो वेन एल्फा हेलो एस्टर रिएक्ट विद कार्बोनिल कंपाउंड इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ जिंक they will give alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acids so that reaction is known as reformes ki reaction let's understand the mechanism of reformes ki reaction we know it's like zinc when zinc react with this alpha halo ester then it give us a organometallic compound so which organometallic compound we will get like that br zn CH2, C double bond O O C2 H5. Similarly, as uh, we react with alkyl halide with the magnesium, then we get Grignard reagent. That is also organometallic compound. So we will get this organometallic compound. And due to this organometallic compound, this organometallic compound, the zinc is very electropositive. That's why. this carbon will acquire negative charge so now this whole entity this whole entity will act as a, we can say nucleophile good nucleophile this whole entity will act as a nucleophile and this nucleophile will attack on this carbonyl compound this nucleophile will attack on this carbonyl carbon so we will get our compound like that o negative here is ch there is ch2 c double o and then o c to h5 and when we react when it react with water molecule then it give its lone pair of electron to h atom hence abstraction of h atom and it will get converted into alcohol group this o negative will abstract one h atom from water and it will get converted into alcoholic group so our product will be like that now oh ch2 CO O C two H five. Now what happened? When we hydrolyze this compound, acidic hydrolysis, then it will get converted. This whole this whole compound will get converted into carboxylic acid, and our answer will be like that. CH OH CH2 C double OH C2H5 OH will be removed then when we heat this compound dehydration occurs due to beta elimination dehydration occurs and our final product will be like that CH double bond CH C double OH. After removal of water molecule, we will get our final product. So, what is our final product? Our final product is alpha beta. That is a alpha. That is a beta. Alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. so let's first understand the reformes ki reaction in reformes ki reaction the 
alpha haloester when react with aldehyde or ketone in the presence of zinc then first they form an organometallic compound due to this organometallic compound now this alpha haloester behave like as a good nucleophile then this nucleophile will attack on the carbonyl carbon of that uh, uh, aldehyde after that there is uh, we can say hydrolysis and after hydrolysis and dehydration we will get our final product of reformesky reaction the final product of reformesky reaction is alpha beta unsaturated carboxylic acid now what is the trick how can we solve just this question within seconds so we have to understand and how can we uh, make a product of reformesky reaction with the within second it's very simple first of all we have to identify that the given reaction is reformesky or not what is the identification of reformesky reaction if alpha halo ester and aldehyde or a carbonyl compound is react in the presence of zinc then hydrolysis after that uh, there is heating it means it's reformesky reaction so suppose we can say what is the trick trick is that that carbonyl compound react carbonyl compound aldehyde ketone that react with the uh, alpha haloester like br ch2 coo c2h5 it is in the presence of zinc then hydrolysis uh, and uh, last we can say there is heating also so what is our product our, our product will be we have to remove just this oxygen we have to remove this oxygen and in place of this oxygen we have to put we have to put ch c double oh that will be our final answer so it's very simple the trick is that we have to remove the oxygen atom of carbonyl compound and we have to replace this oxygen atom of carbonyl compound with ch c w h so suppose we are taking h c h o and uh, b r c h 2 c w o o c 2 h 5 and we are doing the reformesky reaction like we are taking zinc h 2 o then second we are taking uh, we are doing the heat so our final product will be like that that whole will be intact we have to just replace this oxygen atom with ch c w h so our final answer will be like that ch2 then we can say ch h double bond ch c double o h so our final answer will be that ch2 double bond ch c w h in another example we can take any another example like if we are taking this type of uh, aldehyde and we are doing reformesky reaction reformesky reaction how we can identify its reformesky reaction it's very simple we are doing alpha haloester then zinc heating hydrolysis after final product or final product will be like that we have to just replace this oxygen with ch c w h the whole entity will be intact the remaining whole entity will be intact so that will be intact see now we have to just replace it with ch c w o h and this whole entity will be intact and we have to just replace this oxygen atom with ch c w h that is a trick so we have understand the uh, mechanism as well as we have also understand the trick of this question of reformesky reaction thank you